My name is Tim Culhane from Great Lakes and Land Real Estate, partnered with Land Leader. We are located in a county called Gogeba County in western Upper Peninsula of Michigan. This is right on the Wisconsin border, and we're on a chain of lake called the Cisco Chain. The Cisco Chain consists of 15 individual lakes, all connected by canals, about 271 miles of shoreline. It consists of many depths of lake and many different types of fish, including muskie, pike, bass, walleye, perch, and other panfish. If you're a wildlife enthusiast and do like hunting and fishing, this is a tremendous area. We have a very nice population of deer, bear, grouse, wild turkey, ducks, geese, in addition to all the fishing opportunities here. This particular camp is set up very nicely. It consists of over 6,500 feet of water frontage and is 22 plus acres of land. We have a three car garage with a workshop as you first come into the property. As you come to the main house, you'll look down and you'll see a boathouse. This is a two slip wet boathouse, so you just drive your pontoon boat or your other boat in there. It's got garage doors. Hard to get these anymore, they're grandfathered in. And then as you come up the hill, you come into the main house, which is a 4,200 square foot cathedral ceiling open concept home. Hardwood floors throughout. It's got all the amenities and features you expect in a really, really nice home, but you're in the Northwoods. In addition to that, you also have a guest cabin that features three fireplaces, sleeps anywhere from six to eight people, and you have water views from every window. The views on this property are amazing because it is a peninsula. It has walking trails throughout. You can see three different lakes. There's room for expansion. You can have four individual homesteads here. There's also two cantilever docks for access from either side. This was gifted to a college, Carleton College, as a way of raising money. So they are currently the stewards of this property. This was just a generous gift from alumni who felt very strongly about giving money to this college. Joseph Edward Brower. Brauher. But could my friends in grade school say Brauher? No. So they made me Brower. In 59, I came to Carleton College. We were from the class of 63, which is getting to be quite some time ago. I had a wonderful four years here. Carleton was a great school. I learned a great, great deal. And by senior year, I was having the time of my life. I also met a very nice lady who I'm still married to. So Carlton did some great things for me. Well, that happened in the saloon. We got here about uh, three days, I think, before school started. One of my roommates was a proctor. We started talking about girls and things like that. And I said, yeah, you know uh, Nancy Fitch? And I said, well, of course he does. She used to call me when she was looking for him because I'd be around and he wouldn't. Hello, I'm Nancy Brower. We're at Carleton College. I started at Carleton College in 1959 and I graduated in 1963. I imagine you're talking about Joe Brower, one of his roommates who I'd known for several years because we worked on things together. I could never find him, but I could find Joe. His roommate asked me if I would go out with his roommate. Oh, who's that? Joe Brower. Oh, okay, sure, that's fine. He called and wondered if she'd like to go out see if our driver's licenses worked at the, as they say, the saloon. And she said yes. Same evening, he asked if Nancy's roommate would like to go out someplace, and she said yes. We all got married and stayed married. And we went out together, had a lovely time together, and started dating. He turned into the love of my life. Four Lakes is the home that we created on the Cisco chain of lakes. The location of this place is the prime location on the Cisco chain of lakes. You can see lake from every window of every house, including the garage. We got married two or three years after we left Carlton, but Carlton never left our lives or our thoughts. We were there for 30 summers, and we loved every one of them. The kids are now all grown up. Their kids are all grown up, and we're 78 years old. So we just said, well, okay. So rather than just let it sit for the occasional visit, we decided that we loved it. We'd give it to another place we love, Carleton College. <laughs>